I get asked this question numerous times every week. How do I get my restricted LinkedIn account back? And there are lots of scenarios as to why your LinkedIn account may got may have gotten restricted. Number one, it could be it was hijacked and someone is trying to log into your account from somewhere else and LinkedIn wants to protect you. So they restricted your account and until you can validate you are the person who owns this account and they're going to use a tool to uh, collect your government um, uh, ID to validate you are the owner of this account and that's the only reason that they collect that uh, government ID information to validate and then uh, who you are and then they delete that information that's not used uh, if LinkedIn.com asks you for that information and sends you to a website to, to, uh, to take an image of your passport or your driver's license or whatever, do that. It is how you get your account back if it has been uh, temporarily restricted because someone was trying to log into your account in another location. That's one reason why your account gets restricted. Another reason your account may have been restricted is because you may have violated the terms of services in some way. Maybe you were using a third party app and they shut you down. Maybe you were aggressive with your messaging or spamming with your messaging and they'll shut your account down. There's numerous re different reasons why your account may be restricted and the and those reasons uh, play into whether or not you are going to get that account back or not. Now, if the term is permanently restricted, it is possible you will not get it back. But the only people who can help you get your LinkedIn account back is LinkedIn. There's no one else. There's no third party service. There's nobody you'll discover on TikTok or Instagram that can help you get your account back ever except LinkedIn. Now, here's one thing you do not want to do in the process of trying to get your account back. Create another account. Do not create another account so that you can engage with LinkedIn support so that you can ask to get back the account that was restricted. There are ways to get to LinkedIn support besides creating another account. You could go to this URL right here, linkedin.com slash help slash LinkedIn slash ask slash all upper letters TS dash EPR. And when you go to this form, if you're doing this without being logged in to LinkedIn, you're not gonna have your profile picture. There'll be a box over here asking you to log in to LinkedIn, which you can't do. So that's okay. Give them the email address associated with your LinkedIn account. Then let them know what third party apps or services you were using, if any, if none, then you want to say, I do not use any third party tools, or some words that says never use third party tools. If you, it wants to know, do you share your computer and or your account with others? Hopefully the answer is no. If the answer is yes, they already know that. They already see you logging in in your home city, wherever you are, and they see your VA or whoever logging in in another uh, location. You better be transparent about this because they know. Then they want to know what were you doing when this happened? Trying to log in, sending messages, sending e uh, uh, invites, whatever the words were you doing, posting in groups. You better be transparent because they know what you were doing when you were logging in. Then what you're going to want to do here, I recommend that you use polite words. State what you were doing and then in the next sentences, state that you want help. If you violate the terms and services, you apologize and you promise never to do it again. I also recommend you use words to this effect, if this is true. Let them know how important your LinkedIn account is to your business, to your brand. You're managing a LinkedIn company page. You're using LinkedIn for the sake of the business. Be transparent about this. Be polite about this messaging. Because if you're not transparent and if you're not polite, I promise you that won't help you. People want to help those who ask for help politely. Then fill this out. Don't write a big novel here. Be very succinct and then submit. And then here's the next thing you have to do. Be patient. There is no, nothing going to make this happen quicker. You're in the queue. You'll get served. 
when uh, when your case comes up next. There are a lot of people dealing with the same issue. You have to be patient. Maybe uh, when you get an email back, if the system sends you an email back, and I can't test this now because my account is not restricted and I don't want to play with this process. Maybe you get an email back and the, if the email does not have a no reply email address, you could reply back to the email message again, maintaining politeness maintain transparency and you can let them know again how important your LinkedIn account is to your business to your brand and ask them for an update on getting your account back this is the only process by the way you could also go to Twitter find LinkedIn help on Twitter and you could message them but do not bombard LinkedIn through Twitter and LinkedIn through email. Do not bombard them with messaging. Ask for help. And the only reason I would come back after two or three days would be to ask for a status update. Let them know again how important your account is to your business and you're hoping that they can help you recover your account. However, let's be totally transparent here. If you're using LinkedIn for nefarious reasons, if you are totally violating the LinkedIn user agreement, terms of service, it is possible you will not get your account back. And going and creating another account with the same name, same company name, same information, is just going to get that account restricted just as quickly. LinkedIn will not let you create a similar account on the platform. It happens, and there's no way around that. So how do you protect yourself? Number one, make sure you have two-factor authentication turned on. Number two, make sure you're paying attention to the email messages you get from LinkedIn. Have multiple email accounts associated to your, uh, um, e uh, your LinkedIn account. Make sure that you have a, a good password and you are managing your passwords appropriately. Additionally, you want a phone number associated to your account. And most importantly, do not violate the LinkedIn terms of services. Do not have a VA in another country or another city using your LinkedIn account. That, would, that can get your account restricted. Remember your password so you could, don't struggle to log back in again, Teddy. That was one of my issues. Most importantly, use the tool the way the tool was designed to be used and I repeat, do not violate the user agreement. If your LinkedIn account was restricted because it was hijacked or you forgot your password and you struggled to get back in, I hope you get your account back soon.